Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty good news going on when it comes to the PlayStation 5 itself and the brand new ongoing PlayStation Plus drama. Now, we actually did go and cover this, and I actually had a few more people kind of ask for updates, and I kind of thought like some people actually had a chance to go and see the resolution and everything that actually happened with it. But we actually do have some good news in case you guys missed it, and obviously a lot of people do kind of miss it, so that's kind of why I'm making this video to go and talk about it, because it actually is kind of a big deal, and a lot of people were affected by it, and I would actually probably say at the end of the day this actually is nice that Sony did actually go and backstep and basically make sure that everyone who's having issues with all this drama well thankfully can kind of move on and uh, well thankfully not also lose money there is a lot of controversy a lot of people complaining myself included I even made a video on this topic so I, I feel like fair is fair Let's let bygones be bygones, and whenever you know they actually do something good, and Sony and PlayStation does something well, and they actually own up to their mistakes, even if it's like because we had to force them into a corner, might as well go give them the credit that they deserve. So let's go talk about that, talk about the good news, talk about the kind of middle news and all of that, as well. We also have some kind of cool little uh, other news, too, as well, floating on in as well. So some interesting stuff going on for new games releases and all of that. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch room down below. The Weeble Coinbase down below. And we keep on do mention to all of you guys out here. Go and check out the brand new Samsung Odyssey. Neo G8 link down below you get $50 off too as well and let's go and down the video and also don't mind the hair just I just took a bath why not <laughs> why not I might be taking a nice little vacation sometime in the near future too so you boys trying to get some R&R &R and some relaxation but when it comes to this if you guys missed this we kind of talked about it and in all honesty it really wasn't the best situation to be in basically if you guys missed the story yesterday we complained about it but Sony actually was even reportedly confirming that if you had someone who had a lot of PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Now, you preemptively bought accounts, whether through their own PlayStation sale or online, or, you know, or actually in convenience stores, you know, Best Buy, 7-Elevens, wherever you guys may have gotten them before, on cheap or not, or in other regions, whatever it may be. Basically, like, you know, we had the uh, free upgrade to PS Plus, where if you had, like, PS Now, you get the secondary tier for free, or if you had other pre uh, like, pre basically loaded years or months or whatever, it would basically give you the upgraded tier that does cost more money for free. And then we had a really big, like, two-day controversy where people in Asia were actually reportedly getting billed for a lot of money. Like, we're talking, like, hundreds of dollars. Like, someone, I think, had up to, like, $500 or so that Sony themselves made them have to pay. They were literally like, hey, buddy, you got to go and pay this. You know about that money? You know about that good old, you know, dollar ruskies? Yeah, you owe us some. So that led to a really, really big issue because, obviously, people, if they're preemptively already paying money, they don't want to go and pay more. And as well, preemptively, if a lot of folks out there already have a huge tax bill like that, that they have to pay like $500, they're going to be rightfully so and upset. And this kind of led to a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people having issues. We had a lot of folks. There was official PlayStation Hong Kong report to as well with them literally confirming it. So thank you for contacting PlayStation support and checking the price of your membership subscription. Since you purchased PlayStation Plus at a discounted time, uh, based on this one, you either have to go and uh, basically redeem this you either have to have like the baseline normal ps baseline i guess or you also like you know all the other type of stuff so basically you just have to make up the difference if you want to go to a level two or level three and you'll have to make up the difference between all them two as well so basically people were very upset this was officially confirmed like we had this officially from sources themselves we had hong kong mentioning we had people emailing you know and people tweeting about it we had people worried about it in america we had actually a lot of people in the youtube comments and also in my own tweets and i saw it trending on twitter with a lot of folks very very upset and as of right now, too, as well, like, I mean, a lot of, like, Sony was trying to be nice. Like, hey, please rest assured that the system will automatically calculate the difference. That needs to be repaid if you need to upgrade. Yeah, of course, it'll automatically go and calculate, of course. Of course, you could also upgrade or downgrade your membership, too. Yeah, oh, that's so great. Like, people spent all this money for five years of PS Now, PS Plus, and they're basically losing it. So basically, there was a lot of big issues. There was a lot of big drama. People were stacking consoles, and they were saying that they needed to go pay extra money for it. Everyone was upset. Literally everyone, literally everyone too is awful. And even they even had stuff on the UK website when it was like when the new PlayStation Plus membership plans launch, you'll be able to upgrade to a plan with more features and benefits. When you upgrade, you'll be able to be charged a pro-rated fee to level up the remainders. If you purchase for 12 months trial five months ago and have some months left, you need to pay a pro-rated upgrade fee. Like all of these lines coming out. 
when it comes on the websites, when it comes to official sources on the UK as well as in Hong Kong, from emails, from messages, everything was going to the point that, well, you had to pay more money. And people were upset. I made the video on it. People were mad about it. I was mad about it. But thankfully, there was a resolution. I was kind of giving more extra context because it actually got worse. Like as time went on, it actually did get worse. More people were upset, even more issues. And like all this information, this is like kind of like in the middle between my video uh, from before and right now. So thankfully, there was an update that Sony Interactive Entertainment, thank God, claimed it was a technical error, was to blame for players being charged extra to upgrade to different PlayStation Plus membership tiers if they had previously purchased discounted memberships. So I, hallelujah. <laughs> now, I'm not really you know, a big fan always of people gaming the system or doing whatever. We have the official tweet over here too. I even tweet about this too as well. But like I said, we had a lot of folks that were curious. A lot of people were like, so what's going on? What was the update? So that's kind of why I'm making this video. Because it is good news. Like I, I'm on the fence because it is weird because basically their official statement is saying due to a technical error, but, like, you had multiple different regions, you had multiple different websites, you had the UK, you had, like, everything, like, all kind of confirming this. But it kind of seems like they only maybe backtracked it after a lot of public backlash, and I don't really like that. So, due to a technical error, players in Asia who have previously purchased a PlayStation Plus membership at a discount have been incorrectly charged for their upgrade pricing, which is the same issue before where people were getting fined and had to spend a lot of extra money. This error has been fixed, and the impacted players will receive a credit. We thank you for your uh, patience. And funny enough, like there's actually even a tweet over here from PS Vortex. I have no idea who these people are, but very good take, I would say. And they even said, Sony needs to be ashamed for giving a reason to take away the hype surrounding the much-needed PS Plus, PS Now merger. Get your act together before the global launch. True. And honoring the Asian folks as well who had to have the issues with this in the first place. I paid extra money. Also true. And outrage equals change. Apparently also true. Now, I do want to go and reiterate that I am happy that at the end of the day, people will not have to pay extra money. I'm happy at the end of the day that people who had these issues are getting it resolved. And I'm happy that anyone who had the foresight to preemptively buy a lot of these PlayStation, you know, subscriptions or even buy 10 years in advance. My hat's off to you because I appreciate you guys doing that. That helps out Sony, helps out making games, helps out whatever. And it does give them a good deal. And it does hopefully make PS Plus, you know, kind of stay in the same price line the best it can. So at the end of the day, like, I am thankful Although it did take a lot of outrage and people making YouTube videos and tweets and messages and messaging live chat and supports and everything. That at least we did have a nice resolve with it. And it does not seem like hopefully in America we'll have to do with extra fines and fees. I know a lot of folks were curious about that. But it does seem like it's been mostly organized and kind of fixed. And at the end of the day, it does make me happy that Sony at least acknowledged it. It does make me happy that Sony is going with it. And it does also make me happy that at the end of the day... We are not having to pay the extra money, at least if you guys did preemptively. So at least that's all good to go. So good thumbs up with that. So whew, good. That was, that was almost a big issue because I know a lot of people would have been sad if that went to the UK, to Europe, to America, etc. Now, some other little intriguing things, too, to kind of just wind down this video besides just mention the nice little cool little monitor you guys can pick it up if you guys want. It actually does kind of seem like we actually do have now a release date for probably one of the cooler games I want to go check out and play. We actually even had some more God of War news we'll cover up maybe in the next video. But according to the PlayStation database, Stray is now coming July 19th, 2022 at 8 a.m. Pacific. So in case you guys want to go pick up the game, uh, it does look like it at least has a rough date. And that also bumps up the likelihood of another PlayStation event in the near future. Mainly because, you know, they want to announce it and mention it. It's been kind of a big game that a lot of folks want to play, myself included. But on top of that, too, it actually looks like apparently the PS5 Returnal actually might be heading over the PC too as well, which is actually was a very cool and although niche game. So at the end of the day, we actually have had now some more PC notices where they may be coming over to, well, uh, PC up on Steam. So it's very, very nice to go and see. And as well, there's even like big investor meetings, which will probably go cover up more throughout the next few days that Sony expects to make $300 million on PC games this year. So it looks like Returnal's probably the add-on to that overall figure too as well. And I just like the fact that we're seeing in more and more and more various games games showing on up and end up on PC. As a PC guy, PS5 guy, and Switch guy, I love everything that's end up on PC because that kind of gives me the best of everything. So give me your thoughts and comments on the Sony outrage. Give me your thoughts and comments on
on the pricing. Give me the thoughts and comments and everything. And as well, check out the nice little Samsung Galaxy down below. Make sure you guys pop a reserve if you guys would like to as well. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch room down below. The Weeble and Coinbase down below. Like I said, the nice little Samsung links down below. And everything else down below. And I'll see you guys later on throughout today for more videos. Love you guys.